cases of risk rugby in Connecticut. Uh, this started in 1965 when two Planned Parenthood workers, Estelle Griswold, who was the executive director, and Dr. C. B. Buxton, who was a professor at Yale and also a physician who worked for Planned Parenthood, uh, they were sued by the state of Connecticut under a statute that stated um, that any person who assists, abets, counsels, causes, hires, or commands another to commit any offense may be prosecuted and punished as if he were the principal offender under a statute that also said that any use of contraceptives is staunchly illegal. So at the local level, uh, Griswold and Buxton's attorney argued that the state violated the constitutional, constitutionally backed right to free speech by preventing doctors from counseling these couples and single parents about birth control. They lost the case on the statute, but they appealed to the state court where the same thing happened. So eventually they appealed to the United States Supreme Court. Um, at the Supreme Court, uh, Justice Douglas argued that the law violated the right to marital privacy. Uh, there's not a right to marital privacy in the Constitution, but with several of the other uh, amendments combined, the uh, First Amendment, Third Amendment, Fifth Amendment, Ninth Amendment, and the 14th Amendment together, they create a penumbra which uh, creates a right to privacy for married people. Um, now, this case was important for several reasons. First of all, it created this right to privacy, which is obviously important because it's not guaranteed in the Bill of Rights. And it's important because if there wasn't a right to privacy, we'd be in an Orwellian state, possibly. Also, on the constitutional level, it expanded the um, it expanded the tire. It expanded the power of the Supreme Court by giving them that ability to combine these different amendments and create another right for the people. So it expanded the ability of judicial review and of the courts. Uh, so it's influential and important for those two reasons. Uh, by taking into account that Nancy did not have a 
considering she couldn't even verbally say that she didn't want the treatment. Treatment. Um, it also deals more directly with personal health issues. Um, unlike Griswold versus Connecticut, which deals with basically people not wanting to get the prevention of childbirth. 